A new software update is now available for the Apple TV and in this video I'm going to be showing you all that's new in tvOS 26. Going into the settings and then where it says software update and then check for software update quickly you can see we do have an update available and it's tvOS 26.0 with this build number that you see 23J6352. I'll quickly download and install this update it's going to take a few minutes. In case if you're wondering if your Apple TV will support TV OS 26 you can see that this update is going to be available and compatible with all Apple TV HD and Apple TV 4k models yes it's impressive that the original Apple TV HD that was released in 2015 10 years ago still supports this TV OS 26 today although some features like the new liquid glass design and some other added features are limited to the newer Apple TV 4k's as we go along I'll mention which features are restricted just to specific specific Apple TV models but right now my device is just about to finish downloading and updating and then I'm going to show you what's new. Just like that my TV has now been updated to the latest tvOS 26 version and now if we go to the software update and check for an update you can see the TV is up to date with tvOS 26 and that is the current latest version of tvOS 26 at the time of recording. In terms of what's new, when we go to the what's new page on our Apple TV after updating to tvOS 26, you can see they don't really tell us much, they just tell us about Snoopy which was actually introduced in the prior version of tvOS so not 26 but this update does have a lot of changes which I'll be showing you. One such change that you see when you turn on your Apple TV is you're going to see a profile selection where you can select different users. I'm the only person that uses this Apple TV so that's why you only see one user but if you have multiple profiles you can always choose from a different selection of profiles and if you don't see that screen on startup and you have multiple different users for your Apple TV you can go into your settings under profiles and account you can see the setting that says choose profile on wake once you turn it on you'll be prompted to select the profile associated with you upon waking up or starting your Apple TV. And something cool that the Apple TV adds with tvOS 26 is automatic sign-in API that Apple has said is now available. So when you log into your Netflix for example on your iPhone using your Apple ID, once you use that same Apple ID to sign into your Apple TV, that means that that Netflix logged in that you logged into your iPhone with should technically carry over from your iPhone to the Apple TV so you don't have to sign in again into your Apple TV. So Apple has made the API available and now it's up to developers to enable it into the different applications like Netflix, Disney Plus and among other third party apps. Another change that's here on the Apple TV, I'm not sure if you can see it but if you look at the dock of the Apple TV you can see it has this liquid glass theme you can technically see through it to be able to see the movie that's playing in the background and it doesn't end there with this update because if I access my control center for example you can see it doesn't have this white background where it hides information so it's good that way and it allows you to be able to see how this liquid glass theme carries over into the Apple TV it's the theme that Apple is running with on iOS 26 on Mac OS 26 and if I was to go into the Apple TV app and play any movie for example you can see there's going to be a pop-up screen that's going to tell you about shortcuts and at the same time you can see when you access your menu and your different settings they don't have a border that's taking like color and anything from the scene you can see the info the insights and so on I can see them but at the same time it's not covering crucial information on the Apple TV so if I go to the info tab yes it has this border but it has some sort of translucency that allows me to see what's going on behind that and if I go to where it says continue watching you can see that and it doesn't end there because if you go on to the menu section on the left hand side Apple has changed a few of those items so you can see here the translucency carries over when you select this subtitle if you go to this uh, section about
about audio adjustments it's there as well something else you notice once you update to tvOS 26 is on your top shelf which is the collection of top apps that you see right there you're going to see that they're going to rearrange them slightly so I used to have my settings in the top shelf but after updating to tvOS 26 settings was moved to the level below and that was to make space for this new app that's called the sync app so if I click and open this sync app it's the karaoke app that's now available on the Apple TV and it pigs back on the Apple Music app because if you just look at it, if I was to tap this, you can see it's a sub menu in the Apple Music app and this feature is only available on the Apple TV 4K third gen and for you to be able to use your, mi your microphone, which is going to be your iPhone in this case, you need an iPhone 11 or newer that has been updated to iOS 26. So once you're here, you can see featured playlist in sync. So Apple gives you a recommendation of different albums that you can choose to sing. So now if I go to, let's say, for example, this one that says pop select it, you can see I can now play this playlist right here. But besides that, we have this option that says connect iPhone mic. And if I click on it just like this, you can see start a sync party. So now on the Apple TV, if I click where it says connect iPhone microphone, you can see it now gives me this pop up right here where it says tap to turn your iPhone into a mic. And I can choose to either accept or decline this request. So if I click accept like this, you can see it loads up just like this give it a few seconds as it initializes and you can see says that i need to make sure i'm on the same wi-fi network so i'll just make sure of that now you are connected so it says you are connected and ready to sing you can do an audio check or you can start singing so i'll click where it says start singing and the good thing is that here on the iphone that's now the microphone it gives you the ability to uh, adjust the song vocals you can choose to mute your microphone unmute your microphone and you can basically choose between three different mic reverb levels right there and of course once it's been connected like what you see right here on the iPhone it will tell you that mic has been connected and now if I was to go down and play any song for example shape of you right there you can see it opens up like this so now you can see how this sync animation looks and on my iPhone you can see this is how it looks so now because the song is playing I can choose to adjust the song vocals between level one level two and level three right there and it shows you the song that's playing if you want to adjust it from this section or change the song you can choose to do that which is good so mic level reverb level mute and unmute and if i was to go back to the apple tv so now i can continue and you know continue to sing i'm in love with the shape of you we push and pull like a magnet do although my heart is falling too <laughs> i'm a terrible singer but you get the gist of it and it doesn't end there because while i have my iphone connected just like this and the sing is going on i can swipe up on my apple tv remote and be able to adjust the song and so on and if i click this arrow on my remote i can choose this section that says you know sing way it allows me to adjust the volume so i can also adjust my mic's volume under this section and if i want to add this to my favorite i can add it to my favorite sing songs just like this and it doesn't end there because if i click on these dots right here i can pin the song or delete it from this sync library or if you want to have visual effects as your background you can see the different selections that we have so stellar neon sparkle let's see for example how neon looks now you can see how this background looks it's not just the album art but it looks colorful and it's neat and if i was to go there again and uh, instead of a visual effects and say sing with camera and i'll say connect camera mic will disconnect i'll accept the continuity on the iphone and now if i position it like this and now if i adjust my iphone camera just like how i see and then press the pause it's, uh, play and pause button on here it now shows me just like this and it skips this step and now i can 
continue to sing and be the center of attention just like what you see right there so if you are hosting a karaoke and you want to be the host on a big screen or you want the person with the iphone singing to be like the center of attention you can do this and they can continue to sing because they'll be able to see what's on the big screen and you as the audience as well or those in attendance will be able to do that and this is something that's pretty cool if i go to the three dots option you also have the ability to view full lyrics go to playlist albums artist or create a station as well which is pretty good and if you want to share play your songs as well it's still available right here so share play is here by those users that can scan the same qr code on the network and once they are connected they'll be able to play songs and add songs to the share play playlist there's an amazing change that has also been added when it comes to audio settings so if we go into the settings go to where it says video and audio and go to where it says audio output under the audio tab just like this you can see now we have airplay speakers now instead of home pods you can choose any airplay speaker to be the default speaker every time the apple tv is turned on and it's going to remain that way until someone manually changes it now you're not just limited to just home pod speakers but you have the ability to switch and set defaults according to your need when you open up facetime you can see on the left hand side you get the ability to see tiles as your contacts they've slightly been enlarged and you have the ability to customize these on the iphone and thanks to continuity that change you also carry over right here and at the same time facetime gets something called live captions and live translations with different language support i believe right now there's five to seven languages that are going to be supported from the get-go and with time apple is going to add more live translation languages that tvos 26 or perhaps 26.1 will support in the future if we go into the apple tv app and go down you can see now when it comes to apple tv shows and movies now they feature an iconic poster design and so this helps you the user to remember which one they selected and if you were to go out and come back it makes it much easier for you to find the one that you were watching and you can see it's just more visually pleasing and easier to select and if you go down you can see also how depending on what they are highlighting on the apple tv app you'll be able to see a giant poster like this f1 movie which was an apple tv production and you can see many more other iconic posters that have been added right here and it seems to have improved from the last time i had checked this because i been testing this update in the betas and it's a welcome change that visually makes it easier for you to select in the settings when you go to where it says screen savers under the screen saver preferences if we select areas and choose areas you now have the ability to actually choose areas and you can choose which ones to hide and if you want to hide all it will hide all just like this if you show all it will show all like this but if i hide all and then i only want to show certain ones let's say for example i have a certain city which i want to show if i click on that city you can see the eye with a crossed out dot it's removed so if i now go there and i want to show that one and let's say for example i want to show this one and maybe we'll go to dubai i want to show that one too and i like these crossroads i'll show those so only these ones that don't have the crossed out eye are going to show so it gives you the ability to choose which ones to show and which ones to hide which is a welcome change and it's not just in the cityscape if you go in the earth it's there if you go in the landscapes it also gives you the ability to hide or show or, or just show selection same with the underwater and this is good because it helps you choose the precise screen savers that you want to show on your apple tv i'm not sure why apple hasn't added the tahoe landscapes because those are actually there in mac os 26 but i haven't seen them here but i believe they added some new landscapes for india which are welcome and gao is another new one as well that's here that you can choose in the landscape selection another thing i wanted to show you too is the new redesign control center it's not redesigned by much just slightly so the power button has slight changes it's more prominent when selected and it has this animation bounce to it as you select it 
the Wi-Fi icon has slightly changed in color and it seems more easier to identify in the top section you have the ability to choose different users and another thing i wanted to mention is the volume slider on the apple tv so if you use your apple tv and you use the volume slider it's now changed and it allows you to see some sort of translucency when you press it using the apple tv remote now there hasn't been much change on the apple tv app that is on the iPhone with iOS 26, but it does have a little bit of liquid glass theme all thanks to, you know, the iOS 26 update. But other than that, those are all the new features and changes that are here with tvOS 26. The HDMI pass through that we had been pushing for up to now hasn't yet been implemented. It's then in Mac OS 26, Apple TV and Apple Music settings, but in the Apple TV here with tvOS 26, it hasn't been implemented. But from what I've been able to find, it seems like we might be hopeful to get it to the Apple TV soon. So just send your feedback to Apple and hopefully they add that. And other than that, that's about it for me when it comes to this tvOS update. Enjoy the update. And if you like the video, leave a like. And what's even better is to hype the video so that we reach more users. And I'll see you in my next video, which might be macOS. I do a lot of updates, so check those out there as well. Peace.